Hey guys, Anthony here, and guess what? I got to play the new Ratchet and Clank! Yeah! Yes, so I got to play the new Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus at the Escapist Expo 2013 here in North Carolina. They had an Insomniac booth there uh, with a couple of TVs set up and they were handing out free posters. Poster. And I got to play a little demo of a level of Into the Nexus. And I'm gonna tell you what I thought about it. The first Culture Shock hands-on preview of a game that isn't out yet. It's an exciting day. Woo! Anyways, as a lot of you guys know, I just recently got a PlayStation 3, so I've been plugging away at AAA games on there, Uncharted, Infamous, and one of those being... Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction because I haven't played a Ratchet and Clank game since the PS2 and I kind of missed those and I was looking for some kind of just regular old platformer. This game is fun so far. Ratchet and Clank is always known for its crazy weapons and this game is definitely not going to short you. I've got a list of, of stuff. There's uh, the new Vortex Cannon which makes black holes. The Winterizer which makes freezing tornadoes that turn your enemies into snowmen. Yes. The Omni Blaster and the Nightmare Box which scares your enemy with clowns. I don't know. But the biggest new addition to this game is the gravity gun-esque thing, which allows you to create portals between these two set points and basically create a stream between them for you to float between. In the demo I played, this weapon was really heavily featured, adding a real puzzle element to the stage, which I hadn't seen in like Tools of Destruction I had just played. You basically create a point here, point there, and you fly between them. And it, figuring out which portal goes to which one, it, it was a fun change of pace from just the classic Ratchet and Clank shoot and gun. That being said, this game is definitely Definitely, at least from what I saw, a classic Ratchet and Clank game. They tried something weird with that all-for-one co-op game. People didn't really like it, and I think this game is more of like a send-off to PlayStation and like, hey, remember Ratchet and Clank? It was great. So from what I played, it doesn't look like it's breaking any huge new ground. I mean, you still ran around, you jump. I felt at home after playing Tools of Destruction, jumping right into this one. It felt like the classic Ratchet and Clank game. The graphics in it are beautiful. I mean, the back of Tools of Destruction says it finally feels like you're playing a Pixar movie. This game looked like you're playing fucking Avatar. I mean, it is it is beautiful. Beautiful. It's really pushing the PS3. Just so much shit and color on frame. You know, I miss that in games when they used to have color. You know, color, and it's not just gray and black. Look, purple. But yeah, there's not too much to say about it. The demo was just, it's Ratchet and Clank. There you go. If you didn't like Ratchet and Clank before, you're probably not going to like it now. But if you like the other ones, good news is this one's only 30 bucks. I think they're doing that because it's coming out November 12th, which is a mere three days before the PS4 launches. So this is kind of like Insomniac's send off to the PlayStation 3. Like, here you go. One last hurrah. Here's a $30 game which brings it right back to the classic stuff you love none of that crazy co-op shit just raw ratchet and clank and i'm glad to see it tools of destruction has a few glitches in it nowadays and it's starting to show its age so i'm really happy that i get to play a, a, a new ratchet and clank game before this generation kind of flows out hopefully we get more of these on the ps4 i mean there's the game knack that's coming out for the ps4 at launch and that kind of harkens back to you know the ratchet and clanks the jack and dexters that the playstation 2 was so well known for and this generation kind of let those fade away and i and i miss those it's a good change of pace let me know what you guys think about Ratchet and Clank in general. Um, are you going to pick up Into the Nexus? Did you like the other games on the PlayStation 3? Where do you think they go into the future? Let me know below and I will talk to you later.